this video contains extremely important information and knowledge for you to understand more complicated models. Please make sure you understand everything. First of all, let's review what we have learned so far. What you can see is the final equation of the model. So let's put down the model as a review. You have drug, free drug, and the free receptor. The drug can bind with the receptor. In a reversible reaction, you have a rate constant K1 and a rate constant K negative 1. And you have the binding form of drug and receptor. And this binding form will result in a response. We we'll assume the response has a linear relationship with the concentration of dr and the coefficient is a. We call that intrinsic activity. q equals a times dr. Look at this part of the red equation. a times rt. It is the q max, the maximal response you can achieve in theory. So q max is a times rt. Why? Because you can only achieve the maximal response when all the receptors are in the active form, which is dr. We had the equation of states. rt has two parts. One is the free form of r, and the other is the binding form of receptor, dr. When all the receptor rt are in the dr form, the system will achieve the maximal response. So we can rewrite this equation. Q equals Q max. Q max times D over D plus KD. In the previous video, we also talked about the concept of EC50. If you can remember, EC50 is the concentration you need to achieve 50% of Q max. Let's put it in a mathematical way. When D equals EC50, equals EC50, Q, Q max. Let's put these two equations into equation number one and see what we get. Replace Q with Q, uh, half of Q max, and uh, you have Q max on the right times EC50 over EC50 plus KD. Q max and the Q max canceled out, so you have a half, uh, one half equals EC50 over EC50 plus KD. If you simplify this, you will have EC50 equals KD. So what is this? What does this tell you? KD is EC50. The dissociation constant is EC50 in this model. Do you still remember the definition of KD? KD is the ratio of two rate constant It's also equal to the concentration of the reactants over the concentration of products. So if KD is small, which means this part is small and this part is relatively large. So there are more receptors in the DR form, in the active form. Therefore, a smaller KD will result will result a more potent drug. Smaller KD and uh, pot more potent drug. As we said, EC50 is KD. So a smaller EC50 means a more potent drug because you need a smaller concentration to achieve a 50% of the maximum response. That makes sense. So now we can rewrite the equation again 
q equals q max times d over d plus ec50. This curve has the shape of a rectangular hyperbola in a semi-log plot. This is the q max and uh, this What is this? Is it EC50? No, it's log EC50. All right. From the minimum response to the maximum response, this, re this rectangular hyperbola should span over about four log units on the x axis. So here to here should have four log units which means here to here should have two log units. Why? Let's work it out. Let's say here we have 1% of Qmax and we want to see what D is here. Remember the equation? On the left hand side we have 100% Q max. On the right hand side, we have Q max times D over D plus EC50. Q max canceled out, and we have 1 over 100 equals D over G plus EC50. We do the cross multiplication. We have D plus EC50 equals 100 times D. So we have EC50 equals 99 times D. And the D equals 1 over 99 EC50. On the top of this curve, we have 99% Q max. So what will happen if we do the similar calculation? 99% of Q max equals Q max times D over D plus EC50. Q max canceled out. And we do the cross multiplication. 99D plus 99 EC50 equals 100 EC 100D. So we have D equals 99 EC50. So what we had before is D equals 1 over 99 EC50. D equals 1 over 99 EC50. So log D equals log 100, uh, 1 over 99 plus log EC50. It's approximately log 1 over 100 plus blah blah. It's negative 2 plus log EC50. So at 1% Q max, log D equals log EC50 minus 2. By the same token, at 99% Q max, log D equals log EC50 plus 2. That is why the rectangular hyperbola of the clock's model should cover four log units on the x-axis.